I have made so many videos on the, on the Estee Lauder foundation that I've actually never tried this without a primer. Typically I use the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and it does a beautiful job of uh, keeping the makeup on place for most of the day, although I do get a tiny bit oily because I do have oily skin. Um, so I thought, why don't we use this um, foundation as a concealer? Um, so underneath the eyes and we use it without a primer so i won't use a setting spray either and i will um so no setting spray but i will use powder or should i not use powder okay i won't use powder even i won't use powder i won't use a setting spray i will literally all i have on my face right now is just moisturizer so yeah okay yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna take some out here I'm just really curious to see how this actually, what this actually ends up looking like. I hate that there's no pump, by the way. I believe you can buy them separately. Um, I don't know. So, okay. Kind of nervous. Kind of fun. But I basically just have a little bit on here. And, um, I guess I'll just go for it, I guess. This feels so weird not putting on a primer. Oh, I have to color correct. Darn it. The shade is like quite light. Lighter than my actual um, skin tone. I feel like that should do the trick. I'm so nervous. It's going on pretty smoothly though on the skin, like I don't have any problems. I think I'm glad that I moisturized. Um, because then, because if I didn't, my skin would be like really friggin' dry for this. Um, okay. Then I'll just use the last little bit on the top here. My hair always gets in the way. Like, always. Okay, there we go. Let's put it like that. Hope you guys can see that. You know what's so funny? My driest spot whenever I apply foundation, especially with a brush, is on my forehead. And I'm looking at this right now, and it's not dry. And now I'm kind of wondering if like the primer dried it out, dried up this foundation. Cause it's, um, my nose is definitely dry. A little bit, a tiny, tiny bit, but usually all of this goes away. Everything is evened out as soon as I apply a, um, God, I look so damn pale. Um, but yeah, usually everything is evened out as soon as I put the setting spray. So, okay, I'm going to do concealer now, which I'm like kind of nervous about. Um, kind of scared, kind of nervous. Let's see. Oh, probably need a powder. Yeah, I have to powder underneath the eyes. But that's it. I'll only powder underneath the eyes. That's fair. Okay, here goes. It's so funny, like the amount of coverage it's giving me is kind of like a concealer. Like I would expect this kind of coverage from a really nice concealer. Okay, I'm gonna powder this now. Everything looks so nice, so beautiful on the skin. Um, so I'm only gonna do the underneath because I feel like the under eyes crease all the friggin' time. Like you kind of have to put a powder if you want that to set. Ooh. Maybe I should have color corrected. But that's what that's looking like. Kind of nice. I don't know. 
I think she's cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other eye. This is gonna be so friggin' interesting. This is like the most unsanitary thing that I'm doing, but we move on. It's, I have like literally no problem spreading this out. Like this is like super blendable. Although, I have this feeling that it's going to be a lot more thicker underneath the eyes. Um, because this is a foundation, it's not a concealer. So I don't know how that's actually going to hold up throughout the day. Um, but yeah, okay. So you guys, that's what that's looking like. I hate that there's like shit like right here. Just ignore the eyeshadow. But that's what that's looking like. It looks so nice. Ew, what the hell is this? Is that? That might be eyeshadow. Oh, it's looking so nice, right? It's like a tiny bit dry here, but like it looks so friggin' flawless. It's not even funny. But it looks so pretty. Um, on the screen it's showing up yellow, but this is actually a lot more pinker, a lot more pinker in person. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is what that's looking like. I need to do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll show you guys what the finished product ended up looking like. Okay, so this is what the finished makeup looks like. Um, oh my god, everything is like applied on so smoothly and I literally had like zero troubles at all everything blended really well as if I had worn primer um you guys I really hope this stays on because my primer the hourglass one is actually running out so this would be so nice if I could just wear this like all the time and not have to worry at all about it staying so I really hope it stays I'm gonna check back later on it's about like I think it's about 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning so I'll be back like later on in the evening and then we're gonna see how this foundation stayed on. Okay, that is basically it. Okay, so it's about 4 p.m. in the evening. I really want to take this makeup off just because, um, I feel like this, okay. Just because, um, it is heavy. Okay, the makeup you can definitely feel like it is heavy on the face, but that's okay. I think that's fine. That is po that is the whole point of this foundation. It is full coverage, and I'm just feeling like kind of oily. So let's talk about it, you guys. I'm just like looking at the mirror here. Surprisingly, which by the way never happens with any friggin' foundation. Um, I'm gonna move it up here. Is this lighting better or this better? Okay, let's do this for now. Um, surprisingly, you guys, literally everything has stayed on with the exception of my nose. Um, but even then, it's weird because most product definitely does not stay on for that long. I'm going to take off my glasses here. My eye makeup is messed up. Please ignore. Um, we're going to blot. This is just like a blotting sheet. And then you'll be able to tell or see... Oh, shoot. I hope you guys can see that. So, yeah, no, there's definitely oil, but it's, like, it looks, like, quite good. For not wearing a primer, this looks pretty freaking good. Um, of course, I'm, like, hella oily, but, I mean, that's just part of the game. There's a lot of oils. Okay. Um, yeah, so some of it has definitely worn off on my nose. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
But you know, I'm looking at this and everything seems to be stayed like put though. You know, like nothing moved around like too terribly. Um, usually whenever I do wear makeup, like this side is just like completely wiped away because I, I will sit like this, I'll like touch my face and like, but surprisingly, stuff has stayed on. I have like three beauty marks and they're still on, I mean, they're still covered by the, um, by the foundation itself. So it looks like really good and I'm really, really happy with it. Um... Sometimes what'll happen is for the majority of this month and likely next month, I have been wearing foundation and then like immediately taking off my entire makeup. So I don't typically wear foundations for so long or makeup for so long. So I'm thinking I'm not going to be wearing a primer with this specific foundation because I only wear it for like maybe two, three, four hours max. And that's kind of good because now I can get, I get to save on primer. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, the lipstick is just, everything else is just like a mess, but, um, I hopefully you guys can see all of that, that some of it is still there, still stayed on. My highlighter is coming in the way, but like, pretty good, I would say, like, honestly, like, I don't think any foundation has ever, ever lasted this way on my skin, so this is looking like really, really good. I'm really happy with it. Um... In terms of creasing, like, ever so slightly right here, but that always happens. That literally always happens because I do use color corrector. And actually, it's not even properly blended. <laughs> but that's a whole different story. Anyways, um, thanks so much for watching. Let me know um, if you guys have tried this foundation out without a primer, with a primer. Let me know your thoughts. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!